good morning everyone happy thursday i meant to post this video a while ago but such is life um and we're just jumping right into it i am trying to eat a little bit healthier and not only am i trying to eat a little bit healthier but i'm actually trying to eat breakfast and have three meals a day instead of a bunch of little snacks so today i made myself some turkey smoked sausage um some chili egg whites um i just use a little bit of the trader joe's um chili onion crisp or whatever it's called to kind of give my eggs a little kick and some flavor and the way the eggs are priced right now honestly i might have to continue to buy cartons of egg whites they're a little healthier and i guess they last in the fridge longer and they don't cost eight dollars like eggs do And I made a parfait bowl with some bananas, blueberries, which are great antioxidants, a bit of flaxseed powder, and some chia seeds. So a lot, oh, and some granola. So a bunch of anti-inflammatory properties, and it just tastes really good. I normally add a little bit of honey, but this was vanilla yogurt, and I don't like my things too sweet. So yeah, I just topped my eggs off with a little bit of cheese and that was breakfast. Okay, so I actually um, have a partnership with this brand, um, Recess. They have sparkling waters and they are infused with like magnesium, I think. Yeah, like magnesium adaptogens. Um, and they just are supposed to, you know, calm your mood down a little bit. So I am going to film some content for this. And this will be my midday mocktail. A good mocktail honestly just kind of makes my day. Also, I'm doing dry January. I'm going to try not to drink as much as possible. Um, so this is kind of on brand. So they have, real quick, I'm going to show you. They have the lime citrus flavor which I haven't tried yet. Um, the raspberry lemon, I've had that one, very good. And the strawberry rosé, I haven't tried that one yet. And then they have the grapefruit tangerine, I've had this one as well. So I don't know, I'm just, I feel like I wanna do the margarita with this. Um, I don't know why I said margarita, but I think I wanna do like a French 75 kind of thing with this one. I haven't tried it yet, but it's lemon lime, so. Yeah, so come with me to do that. So I was just filming content as I mentioned before, but I did just wanna kinda give you a little behind the scenes of what this looks like. I'm trying to be better at creating UGC content, user generated content, and just posting more um, on my TikTok and Instagram. I am currently on a hiatus from Instagram and Twitter, but once I get back, I'm going to slowly start to re-upload my content, but um yeah my saving grace has been this tripod that i recently bought um there's not a lot of things that tiktok convinces me to buy but this tripod was one of them so i will have it linked in my amazon storefront i actually really love it and it can get so compact which is a lifesaver if you uh shoot content with your phone because they could just be so bulky and have too many parts I don't know if I've said this before, but something about me is I love a good tuna melt. And um, this sandwich has been trending on TikTok. I guess it's from Joe and the Juice. It's called a spicy tuna cotto. And I like barely had the ingredients to make this spicy tuna cotto. So I just kind of spiced it up in my own way. Instead of using mayo, I used Trader Joe's caramelized onion dip. That was a really great swap because it has a lot of flavor. And of course, I did add some chopped onions in there as well. So this is a very fragrant dish, tuna and a bunch of onions. But lucky for me, I just stay home and I can brush my teeth whenever I want. And I've also been on my workout journey, eating more protein, making protein shakes, or at least trying to make protein shakes taste good because that protein powder, it's too sweet and it tastes like fake sugar. So I've been trying to spice it up. So here I'm just making a green smoothie. And let me tell you guys, this smoothie tasted like 
a creamsicle it was so good so i think the secret to making this taste good is adding some citrus or just something that could cut that that fake sweetness out of it i was also able to try the tabitha brown line at target her vegan roasted garlic parmesan popcorn but i'm not a fan of it i don't know it tastes too garlicky and the parmesan flavor is too i don't know it, it's just it's not my cup of tea so yeah let me know have you tried any of the tabitha brown stuff at target i also got the um caramelized onion cream cheese and i got one of her water bottles uh the cream cheese is nice but yeah that popcorn is not my cup of tea And lastly for dinner i am having this dish called tofu manchurian um this is a spin-off on one of my favorite indian dishes which is gobi manchurian so normally this is served with battered and fried cauliflower but like i said trying to be a little healthier and also i hate frying stuff it's just a lot of work so um like even if i fried the cauliflower it would still be healthy ish but i'm just kind of not interested in deep frying anything it just takes too much time so i am using tofu instead and i just lightly dusted it with flour to get it crispy in the air fryer just chopping up some brussels sprouts and freestyling this as well once again using the chili onion crunch from trader joe's a little bit of maple syrup and some other seasonings I didn't catch myself making the sauce for this uh, but it's basically chili oil chili paste honey kombucha soy sauce a little bit of ketchup uh, fish sauce honestly I kind of just freestyled it but um, if you type in Gobi Manchurian on Google or TikTok you'd be able to find a recipe everybody makes it a little bit different but um, I added gochujang for a little bit of extra sweet heat and it was fire i loved it and yeah that is it for my dinner guys i topped it off with some rice and it was really good high protein looking forward to seeing you in the next video let me know would you make any of these dishes don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one